Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Great, thank you. It's nice to, to have you on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. I've been, I've been watching Landry series for the past few days because those movies are really addictive. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you for watching. Sure. So let's talk about it. Just for those who don't know, Landry series is a lifetime full film series then based on the best-selling Landry book series by V.C. Andrews. Mm-hmm. And Rachel, you're playing the lead role, um, Ruby Landry. Congratulations on that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what are the difficulties of playing a character from a book series? Because, you know, there is a risk uh, because the readers might be disappointed. There is a certain amount of risk of disappointing fans, but I think uh, there has to be a certain amount of acknowledgement in that, but also I don't hold all the responsibility of that. So I think knowing I was going into this production with Lifetime, who was so dedicated to bringing the VC Andrews works to life in an authentic way, but also our all the creative elements of hair, makeup, costume, the sets and the, the production design, all of it, really came together to form this world that was present in the books and then diving into the books myself I felt like I had a really good understanding of Ruby and her her internal experience and I I felt confident that we were going to bring something to the screen that the fans were happy with which so far seems to be the case. (laughs) And Ruby is so complicated I mean, mm. um, she has multiple facets that you had to play. She is kind of an orphan, not at the beginning, but she is. Uh, she is mistreated because she's from Bayou. Uh, she's a lover, a mother. And you're also playing Giselle and Ruby in the third movie. What has been the process you've been through to not get yourself lost in this massive world that is your character? For me, it's really having a clear understanding of the text and understanding Ruby's journey. And I really just had to go along that journey with her. Unfortunately, we do shoot out of order. So you can't really, one day I'm Giselle and one day I'm Ruby and all of that. But um, but I, I really try to be very familiar with the text and then plot very specifically where Ruby was in her journey. And you're, yeah. you're correct in saying she really does go through so many things, which is part of the appeal for playing her her journey is so complicated and twisted and 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 surprising that it gave me so much to play with and I I really had a perspective of that being an exciting thing uh the most intimidating part of it was having to play Giselle because my sister did such a great job playing her and Giselle is such a different character to Ruby and I didn't want to let Karina down and and all of that so but otherwise I, I found it all very very exciting to dive in so uh which side of ruby has been the most difficult for you to play besides giselle that you play i would say the fourth film when ruby is older it was interesting playing ruby as a mother to a an 18 year old child was a as a first for me I mean I've never played a mother before let alone a mother with a child that old before um but the stillness that comes with maturity was a really interesting thing for me to play yeah. but I think the the journey and the dark spiral that Ruby goes down in order to to try to get her family away from this darkness that she's fearing is coming that was a it was a really difficult thing to do because you don't want to make it a caricature, but you also want to honor the text. And Ruby did need to step off into a world that we really hadn't seen her go into, which was a challenge. But I found that yeah. working with my fellow actors and our director Michael and the the production, uh, the network itself, working along those lines, I felt like we were able to find it. But it, it was a little a little bit more. T- challenging to step into that for Ruby yeah and I'm 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 more saying saying it but I do think sometimes we are neglecting um how much actresses and actors are putting them, themselves in such heavy stories and mm-hmm. right now I'm thinking about a scene in Landry series uh the one at Giselle's funeral when Ruby comes in um comes close to the coffin coffin to say mm-hmm. goodbye to Giselle 
as an actress and as a sister, how have you dealt with that scene? Because, okay, it was fake, but I mean, it was your real twin, I guess, in the coffin, unless she wasn't there. No, she was there. And it was a, um, it's interesting you mentioned that. I think that was the first day on the All That Glitter shoot where I walked in and, and as, you, as you said, Ruby goes through so many things, but walking in and seeing a coffin is, an, is quite a confronting image in itself um, because everyone knows what that means. But, but walking in and seeing Karina laying inside of it, I, I immediately was hit with just this overwhelming emotion of, of seeing someone who is not just my best friend in the world but is literally another part of me. Yeah. Seeing her in that position was, was, quite, was quite emotional and I, Corinne, everyone was very respectful on the day. A lot of actors, not just myself, but, but, but Sam, who plays Paul, also had to be quite an emotional place. And everyone was very respectful of that. But I think Karina and I really tried to honour that and, and, uh, and make space for the sadness when I needed to do it. But then once it was over, once I'd shot my stuff, we tried to bring back a little bit of levity to the scene because otherwise you don't want it to sit too yeah. long. In, in <laughs> and now that you're not rocking on Landry series anymore, what's coming next for you? At the moment, I'm, I'm developing some things of my own, which um, more to come on that. I, I can't really go into too much detail for those, but really it's uh, it's an exciting time for the industry. You know, we have, We have uh, obviously had some setbacks in the industry and I think things are starting to open up and have a bit more fluidity with, with uh, productions going ahead. And so I, I'm really just excited to get back into things. <laughs> I'm wishing you all the best with, uh, with that, even though you can't say too much about it, I understand. <laughs> uh, but last question, but not least, it's a tradition on the show. I'm asking this question, this question to every guest I had the pleasure to, to have in the show. As an actress, you already did a couple of interviews, but if you could switch the role of a journalist and interview yourself, what question would you ask? Something you really want to share with people? Hmm. I think... Um... I think particularly for, for this production, uh, having done so many interviews, I've only just realized now that I wasn't able to share the fact that I was able to work with a, a um, intimacy coordinator for the first time. And I think that's a new conversation that's happening in our industry and, and making sure that consent is present even in uh, on set when we're doing quite intimate scenes. So I think Uh, possibly a conversation about that with with uh, a journalist would would be refreshing so that that conversation can then continue past the interview and, and not be so taboo and we can continue to have uh, comfort and and support on set for actors which I really enjoyed it was my first time working with our intimacy coordinators on on these shows and it really lifted a whole bunch of uh, weight off my shoulders as, as an actor to not feel like I had to control not just what happened with myself and my scene partner, but also between the director and the, 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 the crew. And, and you have someone who's advocating for you. And I think it's a really exciting thing that's happening in our industry. So I, I would have loved to have been able to discuss that. Yeah, it's true that it's a big, a big taboo right now. And uh, mm. it could have been really interesting. I haven't thought about that actually, to um, asking Christian about this. <laughs> well, uh, then you can write it down and ask someone else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for sure.